Yeah. Our true girl. Done. You had a little uh, back and forth with uh with Adam twenty two, buddy. I never entertained it though. I never wrote back or said anything to him. Get on me from the hood. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no yes sir, yes sir. Ratty Rex, yeah, uh, squashed y'all differences and actually went to the studio together. He hard, he hard. We got a we got a couple bands. He hard. Like people people may not agree with it, but at the end of the day, that's my decision. Our bodies don't be is between me and him. And that's just what my gut told me to do. Hey Jeremiah and Patient, bang on everybody in the party on some gang. Just prove to everybody that I am the best rapper and I do deserve to be in that spot. You got my name on her face, on her neck. Look at her neck. What is it right there? Lefty. What is it right here? Frankie. It ain't a real lefty gunplay interview if I don't sip liquor. Yeah, this is a cool podcast. Like, this, this, this Chicago, Detroit, like you guys are tapping in. Lefty gunplay, famous game banger of Face of LA, for sure the best essay rapper. I want to say all across the board, uh, off of OTR Records, uh, on the run. Um, I got a couple majors in, uh, stuff they want to sign me, and, uh, I've been out of jail for maybe two months, and I got, you know, just started catching motion, and I'm in motion. If you in L.A., if you don't know me, you would sleep under a rock, you know? Real humble about the situation, but L.A., yeah, I, I'm up there right now. And this right here, this is my, this is my P-R-A-R. It's a Rosecrans Vic. He works at Power 106, and he, he's from OTR. He does a all my business, all that for me. He just, you know what I'm saying? I don't answer his phone call because he's tripping on me. But yeah, he's he's like my he's my guy. So how y'all link up? Like you through OTR? It just happened. It just OTR just they found me and uh, um they're just uh, it's a team. It's a it's just a whole team. It's a struggle. That's the reason why I signed with him and I got no regrets. I took the quick cash and I signed with him because I told my gut that, but Vic got me on Power 106. Solis got me with the Rolls Royces and, and, and the McLarens and, and the chains in my video. Just because if not, I would have been doing videos with, with, with a Banzo and, and an iPhone, you know? So OTR really just did that. And it's, you know, sometimes it's about who, you know, but yeah, I had the talent. We got Chito Ranas, uh, Chito, Lefty Gunplay, Tutu G Fay, Pac Man the Gun Man. Just, it's like a whole little, a little, little, in the hood, LA in the hood, like that's the label you want to be from OTR. Like, that's it's always been a dream of mine to be from OTR. Just I was growing up and I wanted to rap, and the label you want to be from is OTR. I put that behind my head. I tell you to be on my head. Like it's like a little family, man. It's like not even about the money. Like they just really embrace you, and they 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 sharpen me up, and they make me a diamond. Speaking about like the hood and all that, can you tell us a little something about uh, Baldwin Park? You were just about? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Sureño. I'm from a uh, city of Baldwin Park, uh, Southside Mexican. Uh, one three just like it's it's LA LA gang bang is just different. It's just bomb parts real uh, Latino community. Shout <laughs> out to the blacks. <coughs> Shout out to the blacks. Sancho. That's what they say, Sancho. I'm losing my voice and getting back, but you know what that means? What? This means what? twice to me is the fing on the game. Yeah. And the pen. Twice? Oh, yeah, I heard the other day. <laughs> I heard the other day that if you drop the blunt on the floor, the yeah, that's yeah. what we say, drop the blunt, call you right now. Yeah. Pipe. Then I dropped it right now. Blocker. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, yeah, man, just bless you, but yeah, just I come from a real uh, just a real Mexican uh, Latino community in a bomb park in Monte La Puente, you know, Pomona, all that. You know, shout out to the blacks, but just I'm from LA, but LA separates the San Diego Valley, Northeast, South Central, San Fernando Valley, Harbor area. You know what I'm saying? Just East LA, just West LA. It all it all gets broken down, but where I'm at is just mainly. Raza, so yeah, I was growing up there, uh, you know, just real embraced, like real Latino community. If you've been around like Mexicans, like they really embrace you, they're really lovable. Um, so are blacks, you know, but I never grew up in the same houses where I just been around them in jail and just in the rap scene. But it's like, yeah, just a beautiful thing, you know. Bomb part is a lot of positivity, positivity over there. I'm not gonna just say all the negative stuff, but yeah, a lot of negative stuff happens, but you could get in trouble anywhere you're at. You go looking for trouble, you'll find it, you know what I'm saying, but. I, I got into a gang, you know. I got no regrets, you know what I'm saying? It just got wrote the script, that's the way it happened. And I wouldn't be left the gunplay if I would've never got into a gang or started gang banging. And my hood became like my family. I was just always looking for that father figure. I think that's why I got into a gang, but yeah, gang man. I started getting money now. And uh, I started realizing like, I'm getting money now and I never had money like that. Never had money like that. Never been eating at Maestro's and whipping right. in Porsches and whipping in G-Wagons and having Rolls Royces and, and being in suites in LA and just, you know, top notch. I'm just saying like, now it's like, I know what it is though, but it's just like going to Clipper games, suites and all right. that. Just and having, you. So walking around like with five, six, eight thousand in my pocket with 80,000 on my neck. Like, 
I used to have more chains on a year, but change to my homeboy, but he's like, I never had that. It's always been fake chains. It's always been like 20 bucks, like 40 bucks, or like slain, like never past 500. Never never the money amount of money I have right now. Guess what? I don't ever want to go back to the hood. I don't know. I love the hood. I'm from where I'm from, but I don't ever want to go back to Ball and Parker, leaving like that. Just, I elevated, you know? And so you're saying, and, too, like most of the Latinos in your area, do you got to be like a Latino to join your hood or come around? Nah, you got some black homies that are that are that are black, but I would be li I wouldn't be I would I wouldn't be a uh I'd be lying if I say that people even blacks don't look at it like what the right. like but it happens. You got some Mexicans that are from black gangs, and we look at it like what the because just LA County just real racist. It just makes you like that, but at the end of the day, just blacks and just when you're a real one, you're a real one. You you know LA like okay you. On top of the AM level, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right now, all right, guys, guys, you know, like just it's a certain you know who's real, like who, who's I, I don't trip on race, but yeah, it's just like blacks get all the time. I got some black homies that are my boys, you know, shout out to them, but it's like it's looked at like what the you know what I'm saying? Like if my girl and my cousin came home with a black dude for like Christmas, I'd be like, I'm trip out, like what the <laughs> but like but some of my best friends now have became blacks just in jail, in prison, and just AD, shout out to AD community, bit on pun, all them on T Row, all them are yeah, like Chris, yeah, yeah, yeah Chris, Chris from OTR, charges a lot of uh, man TZ, RJ, G Perico, uh, TC forty eight hundred, just all them are just those are my boys, like they're my, they're some of my best friends, but yeah, it's still like in, in the, over there, it's like that, it, it is like that. South Central is more like South Central, yeah, South Central is more like it's more integrated, but SGB is just real. Latino, besides uh, Duarte and Pasadena, but nah, I don't got no problems with blacks, but LA County just makes you like that. But the streets is different from prison, like prison and jail just puts those politics and instills them in your mind, and it's just different, all right? LA, it, it's hard to explain. LA is just LA, so it wouldn't be LA without Mexicans, it wouldn't be LA without blacks, you know? Blacks started this rap, and they're embracing the Mexican to get up in here and do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really, really love uh, with the blacks, you know, shout out to the blacks, you know, I feel like calling AD, t Row, all them, I talk to TZ, RJ every day, like, RJ's my boy, like, I really talk to RJ, like, a lot, I talk to G Perico, TZ, like, uh, Hit a J3, I didn't pay for no feature, not one feature, no, um, CML, shout out Conrad, this is like, it's cool, like, I with him, all my favorite rappers are probably black, I didn't even top three. And speaking of, like, the south side you was just speaking on, it got a real bad rep for being like dangerous. Yeah. Why do you think it just like got that reputation? And you being like one of the biggest rappers from it. Yeah, it's just like it's just different. Like the this is real structured, real, real. But it's for your own good, you know. It just it's just really for your own good. Like it's hard to explain, but it's for your own good, and it made me how I am. And really, everything that I do with this rap shit is just what I learned in prison. And prison is just like common sense rules in life just to make you really respectful. I feel like a lot of people should go to prison first and it gives you that class of like just how to be grateful for stuff, how to, you know, be respectful, just but yeah, 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 it could get it could get it could get uh, ugly like with, with, with in LA if like you really wanna like that hood runs deep. I just leave it at that. That hood runs deep. Like I could do whatever I want, say whatever I want, but if the homies wanna knock on my door, find me whatever the I'ma go out there, I'ma get my boob up whoop thing, you know, it's just it just runs deep. It gets like just you gotta watch what you say. But yeah, I got a platform to speak for my people. Right. Yeah, my homies embrace me. Yeah, there's gonna be those people that they 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 look and they pick for that one point to hate on me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting more media trained with just like what I say and uh um I did an indicted interview and I, I explained a lot on there, but you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it's just it gets real but but it's good as long as I I, I know in my heart my homies love me. I, I know the right people. And, and I'm like, I'm one of them boys. Like, I'm really from my hood. I'm really, really was in jail. I really was, you know, really, really on the block. Really, really with my homies. I'm really still go to the hood. Like, my homies right here, right now, just, I'm really tapped in with my homeboys. Like, I'm not faking. Like, I don't care about the rap. I tell them all the time they get mad. Like, I don't care about rap. I don't care about it. Like, I'm just, I gotta start being like that. I do care about it, but it's, at times it's like, fuck it. Who gives a fuck? Like, and even being from that side of the city, like, who else then like blew up or like got on from your area? Roddy Rex from the whole area. Roddy Rex. Roddy Rex. Roddy Rex from Plenty. Uh, check him out.
Yeah. We was just speaking on that too. We seen yeah, him shooting funny. Ratty Rex, yeah, uh, squashed y'all differences, and actually went to the studio together. He hard, he hard. We got a, we got a couple bands. He hard. Like people, people may not agree with it, but at the end of the day, that's my decision. Our bodies don't be. It's between me and him. And that's just what my gut told me to do. He's from my area. Oh, so it was yeah. you that reached out that said it was I reached pointless. out to him, yeah. One block away, like, why not? Like, f it. Like, ain't, ain't. who gives a f Give the people what they want. That's what the people want. They just, just do it for the streets. And uh, it's a banger. I can't wait for it to come out and people to see it. Like, it's over with. I did it. And, and it is what it is. We hyped it up. You know, we're getting the bag out of it. He's getting the bag. I'm getting the bag. And what better other person to be right there up with me? I like that. I'll throw the ladder down to the next homie. I'll give them the plane. If they run with it, they run with it. And I hope they would give it to me. Like, it's just like, I'm going to show them how I did it. Everybody's trying to figure out the blueprint how I did it. Everybody has their own way. It's like a self-help book. Fair. Whatever I tell you may not pertain to you. It pertain to me, but not to you. It's like, you just got to figure it out the way you do. But yeah, Rowdy, he's hard. Drummer Boy's hard. Um, so what made you pay so hard? start rapping too? Me rapping? Yeah, what made you get in the booth? Being in jail, just writing poems. I try to draw, try to try to do a lot of shit. And uh, just actually, like when I'm writing, is like it really calms me down. It's like it, it chills me out. Like I'm lefty, I'm too much all the time. People say what they want, but like writing just really sits me there. And I just all the shit that I'm doing, my movements and everything, just goes into like my bars. And like it's cool. Like it's it's so hard to write a song. It's like for it to come out like a good song. You want every bar to just hit, like everybody has their own. Like what I told you with the muka maka waka flock on the block with the shotgun, like just, I, this is the way I rap, it's like, and I wanted to hit and be realistic. Like, they'll try to put stuff in there. Like, I was telling to the homie the other day, like, I don't care if fools say, like, like a couple labels told me like, hey man, you know, like, you mind if we have somebody like, write your hook, like, what? I'm like, the, the minute I do that and somebody writes my hook, like, I'll stop rapping. I just wanted to be very authentic. And right. just a lot of the songs I wrote, I just wrote them in prison and found myself in there. But I used all those songs already. And uh, I got to sit there again and just be left alone. Like, my life is moving so fast right now. I'm going up so quick. There's sometimes uh, um, the homie Tia uh, Sanders, he just like, he's at the suite where I was at. He is security, big big dude right there. Just gangster, like solid. Like, just just a real black, black dude. Just he black, I'm Mexican, just real hood, hood with it. And he's just like, dude, I watch you every day because I've been there for many. You're moving, you're doing, you're moving so fast. It's like, you got to sit there and enjoy the moment. You know what I'm saying? You got to sit there and hone in. And I forgot for a little bit who I was and, and just because I'm moving so fast. You just got to turn your phone off, close the door and just, he said, go to the beach and put my foot in the sand. I really want to do that. Put my with the hoodie on and just, you know, breathe in, breathe out. Just find yourself again and, and just, you know. Because a lot of this will break people, but like this is what I wanted. I was meant for this. Like, but it's hard to get up every single day and uh, put on a smile and come back 900 every single time. And, and, and just when you're popping, you're popping. My schedule set to like March, May, April. Like it's just like I got tomorrow. I've done three things today. Like I, got, I, I barely get any time to myself. So it's like I got to. Like, when it comes to being like one of the most popping rappers in LA. We hear you say like you the best Mexican rapper in the I am. Do you think you limit yourself? Cause it's it's a lot of people out here that's not Mexican that you also killing in the race too. Yeah, I I let that for the blacks to be the judge and for them to tell me that you know like if they tell me that and I've heard some of them tell me already that like no all around the board like I'm one of the best rappers but I still believe in my mind that there's some really talented blacks in LA that. But I'm right there up there with him for sure. Thanks. I'm right there up there right to bat, but I got, you know what I'm saying? Like, I seen the Kobe interview where like, how come you're not smiting? He's all, for what? He's all, you're in the, you're in the championship, you're up 2-0. He's all, what well, should I be happy about? Is the job done yet? You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't done yet. It's just, we barely getting started. Like, yeah, I got a little bit of success, but nah, it's now time to put my foot in the next and just prove to everybody that I am the best rapper and I do deserve to be in that spot. And that should speak louder than words, and that's what I'm doing right now. Like, they woke up a beast, like, I'm just ready to beast it out. Right now, when you guys walked in, I was writing a song, like, a banger, like, tired of, you know, just want to show everybody, like, where I'm at. I am the best rapper. I, am, I do rap sick. Like, it is my character and everything, but bars, I got bars. I know how to rap, and it's real shit. Like, I just want to prove everybody wrong. All my videos are on um, pace to catch a million by three, four months. Like, all of them. They're all, I already got a million views in one month on two videos. 
So it's just like a million views, that's a lot, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I am the best rapper. You feel me, so? Dude, I could get, I could leave right now. The shows is like, once you're hot, for, I could have shows on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every weekend if I want, for 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, every show. And that's what I've been doing. These guys are like, uh, but it's like, Bro, here, look, 15, me, 10 minutes a show, like, let me dude, how do you even bro. move, like, throughout the city without, because you've been popular, you feel me? You got all the face I can't, I can't, I can't. I put a mask on, they still know me. Yeah, exactly. So, how, what, do, what do you do for fun? Like, you just... Man, I make fun wherever you go. I walk into the strip club for an embrace that. Like, uh, we don't really hear too much dissing coming from Lefty and his uh, music from dead people and all that. How do you stay away from that? I want all my everybody to bump my music in to relate to. So my enemies are, are dissing me. As soon as I hear it, boom, I'm going to turn it off. You know what I'm saying? So I want people to knock my music in. A, I want it to be for all ears. In a, since I got over that, that diss is kind of childish. You know what I'm saying? I just got over that uh, that dissing stuff and it's just childish in a... I, did, I got it out the way already. When I first started rapping, I got it out the way and just, I'm just asking for it, doing that. Like, you know, if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't. And like I said, my enemies don't even diss me on the internet. So why am I going to diss them, you know? It's just trolls. I never see my enemies on the internet. We keep it gangster and it's just like, I'm a gangster. I'm not going to do that. Uh, unless like it's real, real Like, I didn't even really diss Roddy Rice at that when we were going out with rap beef or none of that. Or just, like, it's not, it's not, it's not, no beef is like, can uh take time in my day like I'm lefty gump I'm a famous gangbanger like I'm really rich like that's not what they think is rich I'm really really rich now like I'm really doing it I'm not gonna go back down there unless I really want to and it really sets my daughter my baby mama my mama like then we'll really get it cracking but yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna diss nobody like I don't care about that like crap damn they diss I'm like it sounds good sometimes. I, I wouldn't be lying if I say I haven't wrote this song and thought about it, but nah, it's it's not it's it's not it's not for all ears. I want to tell my story, you know, and that's what I'm on right now. Is just telling my story about LA so people could. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make a diss song for like the ops, you know, like real real mean one. But only people I be dissing is the Norte, Busters, damn, I said it. And speaking on that too, you had a little a back and forth with uh. With Adam Twenty Two, and he ended up telling you like he was gonna find a Latino rapper or something yeah, to rap. Yeah, it was it was it was it was it was it what it was like. It, it, it ended right away. It was like it's just bull. Like I didn't really. I, I never. I never see you rap beef with anybody. Again. I never entertained it though. I never wrote back or said anything to right. him. I never never said nothing about it. Like and I kept my like a gentleman and I handled it well. And uh, you know, what I'm saying if that's how he felt, that's how he felt. You know, I'm still here and uh, shout out to him. But if you know, you know, and if you don't, you don't like. I just keep it G like I don't wolf, you know what I'm saying? Like he said what he said, he he, he not he, he didn't mean it like that dog. Like you really wanna you really wanna do some shit to me like you know where I'm at, you will get me out of the show like real easy. Everybody know I'm at pop out, I'll be right there with my homies 30, 20 deep. Like when your time your time is a goal is to go, like I'm not gonna pop it about him, like he's cool. He's he 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 he, he, he don't mean it. like he ain't like that, you know what I'm saying? You gotta pick and choose your battles and that's just like it's cool, you know. Maybe it was a joke he said, whatever the f it was. Him get clout, I get clout. I don't think he needs a clout. It was what it was, and I, I didn't react to it. I heard what he said, though, but right. come on, man. It, it's, it's good, it's good, but yeah, I don't bite into it. A lot of people you do. You had any rappers try to, like, start beef with you or, like, drop a song to you? Or just any usual name for clout at this point? Yeah, a lot of people. Or YouTube, all YouTube. They all use my name for, like, clickbait. And you see Lifty Gunplay, and they're going to click on it, but... It's cool, you know, all publicity is good publicity, I guess. I just stay quiet, stay to myself and keep making my music and working on my craft. I can't just sit back and, and sometimes I get stuck on looking at all the comments and like, but I just snap it off and turn it all out. I just keep working, because that's what it is. You just gotta keep working. Keep them keep talking about you. Until how long will I stay high? When you're high, you're high. I'm never gonna go cold. I'm gonna keep working. I'm the best essay rapper. I'm the best rapper in LA, like West Coast, like, Really doing it up, I, I I don't pay attention to small. Shit. It comes when you're on top. Haters gonna come. You know what I'm saying? They always say, but like, yeah, I read it, I hear it, but I'm not gonna entertain it and give them no no spotlight. You know what I'm saying? It. I'm just gonna keep working. It makes me just wanna be still more like. It gives me high. Like I like it. I like that. I, I rewind it and rewind it and rewind it and rewind it and just sick. F just 
That's how I make my music, but I just like to prove everybody wrong. It's like just the same fools. It's not even like that. A lot of people in LA, Mexicans, blacks, they want to see me win. It's very minimum. The more it's less minimum, more people want to see me win than people. Probably a lot hating. of people that got nothing going on. Yeah, it's hate. a lot of people just a lot of people they hate don't even got the views because people know when it's organic and it's really me and what, what it is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I let them down, whatever, but I'm, I'm getting there. I do it for LA. I'm not gonna disappoint. Keep doing me. How do you do with constructive criticism? Like if somebody was to tell you like, oh, you should have did this or you should have did that. Uh, I kind of like reflect it, but I I, I hear it, but like, I look at them like, who the f are you? Like, right. are you a, uh... and it's sometimes good to hear it from a, from a, like when it's Solis and Vic, like I don't like what they tell me I listen to, but it's like, but if it's a random person who's my baby mama, like, I'll say, well, how does this sound? Like she told me the truth. That's whack. That's not like, this is like, well, what I'm doing wrong is like, like we were watching that. Shout out to Dubs, man. What is his name? Dubs, right? Yeah, Dubs. Yeah, Dubs, man. Shout out to Dubs, man. I've been wanting to talk to him. I want to get an interview with him. He just keeps it real. And uh, I didn't want to hear him. Remember that? Yeah. I was hearing the interview <laughs> when we were going through podcasts. He was talking, like, bro, I clicked it. Like, I like him. He keeps it real. And, uh, yeah, you need people to just keep the same way. I like to hear yes, about man. myself when nobody to hear it. It f***s me up. It kind of like, it, it eats me up inside. It really does. They say the baddest are the most insecure ones. I'm not calling myself a bitch. like I'm just saying just like I'm a perfectionist fool. Like right. everything gotta be right. I just and sometimes it's like it's not good enough, but that's when you really gotta tap in and know in your mind like not about to just be a gangster and just own the room. You know what I'm saying? Walk into a room with two dollars and a white tee and all the still look like who the f that? Hey but look who's that body language just you know in your mind who you are and don't get lost in the moment. Just you know I'm the best rapper. Like I tell I don't let nobody tell me I'm not doing it up. The work speaks for itself, the work ethic, actions. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just coming in here popping and saying I'm the best rapper and my bars ain't hard. Like, you know, well, you're you really doing numbers too. When can we expect some out-of-state tours like hit seeing you in Miami oh, or something? I'm on tour with uh, Lil Weirdo. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on tour with Lil Weirdo. Uh, ASAP. ASAP. Okay, okay. And I got to show it. I'm talking about we're going to go to probably New Mexico, Arizona. Mm -hmm. You know, y'all got to tap in the floor. The I can sell tickets out deep. deep. I can sell tickets in New Mexico, though. Facts. I can sell out. I sold out in New Mexico. I got fans in New Mexico. I get radio play in New Mexico. New Mexico, I'm the New Mexico's a different vibe. It's like the tumbleweeds going by. It's like just the yeah. city. It's just, it's not like that. Nothing's like LA. Like, and then I went to uh, Arizona. I went to uh, New York. It's like, ain't nothing like LA, but ain't nothing like New York. New York's another yeah, New vibe. York is crazy. And I was going in everywhere in New York and they have to go and play. Everybody knew me. I didn't put you in New York too? Yeah, they me in New York. They do. They, they heard about me. Like, it's like, if somebody told me that day, you cannot say that you go on the internet and you have not seen Lefty Gunplay at least one time. Facts. Like, everybody knows who you are, fool. And I'm just like, they do. Like, everybody's just swear, like, boom, 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 money. It's like, I go on Instagram, like, it's, like, it's a lot, but it's what I want to do. But yeah, Florida. I gotta go out there. Why we swapping in Florida? They they Latino community out there. Soldier Kid. Crazy. They gonna with you. Soldier Kid, that's his name? Um Soldier Kid. Who be out there in Florida? Soldier Kid. Yeah, Soldier Kid. Soldier Kid. Um Man, you know Soldier Kid. Every time he go Hopefully he's watching this. Hopefully Soldier Kids. No, Bad Bunny, I'm 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 manifesting it. <laughs> they said they called me at the strip club the past three days they've been seeing me over there. I spent forty five thousand and like 20 days of this. Out of here, fool. You got me. I'm a famous gangbanger. That'll be hard, huh? That'll be. These fools are getting the bag. Yeah. You did speak on, like, uh, you doing some jail time, and that was one of the reasons you ended up rapping and all that. Uh, how many times? I mean, how long did you have to sit down? Man, people kind of want to twist up my words and all that. Like, I don't want to speak on how much, like, if you know, you know, like, just like the media, like, fools will try to say anything, you know. Like yeah, I, 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 I went to Pelican Bay. I've I been down. I've been I've been in jail for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like give a f what fool say like. The people try to say bullshit. people try to get clout. Like I seen like just, just I'm not gonna say no names or none of that. It's just like it's crazy how like just are looking for any reason. It's like but who the f am I to who the f are they for me to explain myself? Like I know where I've been. I know what my paperwork look like. Like like why the f like. Um, but yeah, I was in jail, dog. I really was in jail. Like, the indicted interview would tell you everything. And uh, like I said, my politics is different. I, I, I don't want to speak too much on, on 
like jail that was the past like i just like talking about my music and but yeah you know what jail was a very big part into why i am lefty gunplay and i can't but i don't like to speak on it i don't like to backtrack i like to right. move past that and talk about positive shit, you know what i'm saying like it's like what you're gonna do in what am I gonna do? I'm gonna buy a nail salon. I'm gonna buy a strip club. I really am. I'm really gonna. I'm really gonna get a hundred thousand in twenty four hours. I'm gonna get, I don't get and I was thinking about getting a nail salon. Nail salon sixty thousand minimum. But I was gonna open a merchandise store. But that's their idea. But it's like merchandise. Like I just wanna. My gut is telling me to open up a nail salon and get the working at my local and sell lashes in the nail salon. Like, I want a nail salon. Can't get right on the run. I always gotta get the nails done. Yeah. Strip clubs like slow money. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody, ain't nobody. Yeah, you gotta yeah. have those yeah. out to have clientele. Yeah. Clientele righteous, clientele to repeat customers. Yeah. It gotta be fly. It gotta be fly. And I already know the that I want working there. Like it's just God put the play in my head, and that's really what I want to do with my money. I need to have money coming in. So it's gonna hurt. Ticket. Sixty, seventy thousand comments too. What they you saying? Know like why you ain't got no features with no big uh like LA artists yet. You trying to like I just... do. RJ not nobody. Well, I guess they like... Chipa Rico ain't nobody. Chipa RJ ain't Chipa nobody. Drummer Boy ain't nobody. Um, mother you know, TZ, I got I got that one in, in the chamber. I got a, I got a gang. I got every LA artist. I got, I got every LA artist. I got TC4000, yeah. TZ, Conrad from the Ave. I got RJ for sure already done. I got Chipa Rico already done. I got two songs with RJ already done. I got a... a, a so summer, we were yeah, supposed yeah. to do some shits like I'm back to my hit a J3 just real LA fools like I don't uh -huh. think they said that. That was probably an old comedy. Everybody yeah, knows like the uh, thing is really be true. Savi three, Savi like, three, my boy, Savi three it's too. It's the thing is, is it's a it's a process. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know a lot of the times, you know the bigger LA artists they know exactly who Lefty is, but yeah, they're just watching. They're they all tap in. No, they all they all tap in. It's, it's it's not gonna be like immediate, and you really think he's probably the bad shit. I got a song with him already. He's been out for you know maybe like sixty seventy days type, of, you know. So it's like just you know it takes a little while, but he he already you know got his dream features. To be honest, like you know the the people that are are important to him. And I got him on my own. Exactly, Conrad, R J, all came organic. He's never paid a dollar for a feature. Pichi Perico, Pichi Perico. Yeah, Chaji. Yeah. Oh, look at that. This one right here. When it do come to that, because I heard you mention that you read all your comments. Like, how do you not, like, troll or crash out on somebody for, like, saying the wrong thing in your comments? Uh, I just know that uh pick my battles and I block them. Okay. You leave a negative comment on my Instagram, I block you. I got over 2,000. I ain't even trying here. I block it. Sometimes I catch myself. I'm like, nah. I'm a famous game, man. I'm too famous. I'm too famous. with, though, like, the... Um, the throwback, like who would inspire your flow and all that? The game. The game. Um. Savi three. Who you think? The game Savi three. Um. Little Yada. Yada, boom, a lot of Yada. Chap five. Conrad, RJ for sure. Okay. RJ gonna be Draco, Draco the Ruler, Cold Devil. That was my uh, Eminem for sure. Eminem. I wanted to do just Dr. Dre, 2001. That's it. YG, Nipsey, man, uh, Pac Man the Gun Man. So Chase Stone, just LA, yeah, LA, just Slim for Honey, just, just, <laughs> damn, all those guys, like, I just, I could just bump songs of all of them, uh, I wouldn't be lying if I say, uh, Chingy, Chingy, I got okay. Chingy, we're trying to get the right thing with Chingy, Chingy Ling, oh, that's what the dead homies, Chingy Ling, <laughs> Chingy, Chingy, dog, Chingy, the, uh, the Holiday Inn, right there, that's hard, oh, damn, I just like that old school, the jerseys and, uh, the G unit vibes, G unit, the G unit vibes, vibes dog. The, the just G unit, G unit vibes. That's like the steel I'm really going for. But these guys are just like Miami Five Ones, White Air Force Ones, YT just swinging. You know what I'm saying? Just all that is. If you say you been in the hood and all that, what age would you say like you got into the streets? The streets, probably sixth grade. Sixth grade. Sixth grade. What do you think, Vic? 
What you think? Yeah. He's my guy. I didn't know you in sixth grade, but no, I'm saying, you but know what you think about the best rappers? Just all that. What I you mean, think about what they're saying? I mean, damn good. I think he limited himself when he called himself just the Mexican uh, best rapper. I think, I think uh, it's wrong. it's something to start. It's 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 a process, you know what I'm saying? And like when you really think about the length of time he's been releasing music, it's so small, right? So, so, much so it's like you gotta start somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't make, you don't always make the All Star team, you know, immediately off the jump. I but do. you can win the Rookie of the Year. Rookie you know of the Year. Right now with Lefty, it's like he's doing, he's putting in the work to become that, you know what I'm saying? But sorry. It's it's on the way. You just gotta keep working. It ain't That's a real it. lefty gunplay interview if I don't sip liquor. <laughs> I do it just like kiss me like right. Just it's a lot, but nah, big big's right. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot more to prove, but you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of guys that are talented, but in my mind, I know I'm I know I'm hard. And I know I know Vic has faith in me. He believes in me. He's trying to be humble on camera, but nah, I'm the best rapper. And I'm gonna gotta, pull it to the side walk later. In the studio like that every day. Pull it to the side later. Before I walked out, this in my room. She's like. We're crazy, like I'm like I'm the best rapper, I'm the best rapper, I'm the best rapper, I'm the best rapper. I'm, the best rapper. I'm, the best rapper. I'm the I got money, I got this It's nothing. I tell my sister that every before I walk out, like I'm I look at my mirror like yeah I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta just be like like that and, and, and I wouldn't want the other guy to think that he's not the best rapper. Like what the I ain't yeah. second. I'm the I'm the best and the numbers are it's looking that way. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep, let him think that it's not just some luck because it ain't luck, it's all muscle. Gang, on the gang is almost <laughs> like I'm really like that. I just I got a lot of problems, you know. I gotta just learn how. I'm barely figuring myself out with this. Just I got it though. I got it. I got it. I read all the comments. I read all, all the little. I was going through them all right now. I can't even keep up with it, but I read it all. I like that. Like in the morning before I get ready, I just start bumping the YouTube and you know, the Lefty Gunplay recently uploaded. I just start running through them like these. Like, so sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. Sometimes, but just the media will pick anything. But it ain't stopping me. I ain't stopping. I, I just got my own house, two bedroom apartment. Like, could have got a house. Like, I'm getting a G wagon. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing. But you know why? Cause next year I'm gonna make another million. I'm gonna make another million. I'm gonna keep working. Every song I'm getting better. I really do believe that. I really do believe next year. Like, by the end of the year in December, November, you're gonna be looking at this. Okay, I interviewed Lefty Gunplay. I am hot. I don't give. What nobody says. I'm telling myself that right now. I am hard. I'm hard. I'm hard. You say I'm the gunman, fool. I'm famous gangbanger out here in LA. Like, I'm the gunman. Like, people can say what they want. I said you done made up the gun walk and all that. That's, that's a John Moran. I guess. <laughs> I'm wrong, but that, I didn't know that. That's, that's just. That's just my shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, that's the only move I had. And uh, I ran with it. And now people see me in the street. They'll be like, hey, let the gun play. Famous gangbanger. All the kids. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's cool when they do that. Like, I got other little kids doing that. I show love to the kids too. I want to be a positive role model, like just like even when people come out and they probably feel offended uh, by you saying you're the best Mexican rapper. Like I seen, I spoke into existence. Came out and said something about it. Yeah, you feel like people uh, probably even take it the wrong way too. Instead I, of they all should feel like they're the best rapper. I I I don't, I don't see what he said, but you know, since shout out to him and everything that he's doing. Uh, I'm in my own lane and I'm in the lane. Uh, I'm the best rapper. I am. That's it. If he thinks he's the best rapper, that's cool. But I think I'm the best rapper in LA. I'm not the best rapper in Texas, not the best rapper in Florida, not the best rapper in Arizona. LA, I'm the best SA rapper. Downs. Hopefully we can get it to the best rapper. SA. Not Norte, not SA. You know what I'm saying? SA, Southside, West Coast is me. In the moment, right now. I'm doing it up. I'm doing some amazing shit. I barely started noticing myself work and what the I'm really worried, and I'm starting to figure out myself. Like the other day, I went to go meet to the store. I met with some blacks. Shout out Trayway Six from uh, Hoover. They, they knew him. They're like, da -da 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 -da. they're like, they looked at me and I'm like, he looked at his homie. He goes, this fool left the gunplay. Don't know how big he is. Like yeah. everybody tells me all the time, like how big I really am. It's like working out. You don't see how big you are. You see, we came out. all the way from Chicago. Out here. Yeah, yeah. But see, I wish I could see myself. So today, Duno, shout out Duno. He pulled me to the side after we, we finished golfing. He's like, fool, I want to tell you. I don't tell nobody, fool. You're doing some amazing right now, fool. The shit you're doing is ridiculous. You're doing good. And all these little homies were like, yeah, fool, you're going up, fool. You're going up fast. But it feels good to hear that, that, uh, that, uh, they're probably doing some reverse psychology by telling me I'm not good enough. I barely yeah. figured that out. You know what I'm but you don't want to get too comfortable yeah, because you, you, want, you, want, you, want, you, want, you don't want to get 
I'm hungry first, though. I'm yeah. hungry. I'm just like what I put in the gang vein, I'm putting in the rap now. It's just like it just it's f a b f the homies. I'd rather stay there and write a song. Something's gonna put me ahead. The thing that keeps me busy is the shows, the interviews, the all this, the promo. But it has to happen. But if I could, I'd lock myself in the room with a bottle and just write all night. I love making music and I'm hungry. It's like a competition for me just to be like, who's better? You know what I'm saying? Just like, I, I, and, and I like that. I like the pressure. Like, people are trying to see, like, if it's cap or if it's for real. And I'm going to let a lot of people down if it's not for real. But I just want to let the people know that it's for real. Like, I'm really him. I'm really doing it up. And by December, what is saying that quarter says, uh, our biggest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, just like you, you just, that's how I feel. Like, I, I read that quote, and it's in the Coach Carter book, but it's a philosophy quote. Like, just, like you just don't know what what the f I'm capable of. Like I'm scared of just I, I got all this and like I just don't know how to use it right. And once I use it right, it's I'm over. And that's what OTR's trying to do for me right now. Vic and Solis, those are my guys. They just really see something in me, and I don't agree with them. I don't agree with them and just a lot of stuff. But I guess you know I still don't. I still don't. I wanted I I trust my gut in my way, but they've been doing it. I'm sure they want my best interest in that. Yeah. So say an example, Vic gets mad at me, Solis gets mad when I take a show in the hood right away behind their back. So I'm doing it just to go perform in the hood and it's like, no. They trying to keep you safe you, too. That's yourself, no, I'm not worth that much. You're worth way more, fool. Yeah. And people are paying me that much and it's just like, I'm just, my dumb is just over there at the, you know, drunk. Like, oh, there's a party in the hood, all this food for me, show me three bands. Quick three bands, they'll be like, what the you doing lefty on a flyer to go to a show over there? Nah, f that. F that. They already got me out of like three, three. You hear that drilly? That's how it sounds when I give my baby mama. I'll put a pedal. No, but f no. no you had just a like, back and forth too. Quality, not quantity. Shout out to Jeff Bands. Quality, not quantity. Yeah. You from Chicago? Mm -hmm. You know what I pay attention to? This little dark interview. It's hard. Have you seen it? Which one? Man, it relates to me. No. Go ahead, big. Say, 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 say about the, the, the show. I mean, for the show, it's like you got to think like as somebody who's been in media and that guy's been in the dude. music industry for going on ten years. It's like everybody. And let me say real quick. See, everybody, uh, everybody, all the rappers in my DM when I first started rapping, like like a month, two months ago, and I met Vic. I'm not knowing because I'm in the band. I meet Vic. Like, okay, cool. I know the fuck ARP or whatever. It is. But all the rappers are tapping me. I'm talking about the top right. rappers in LA scene. Oh, Rosecrans Vic, that's your guy? That's my guy, man. Send my love to him. The guys that are like, I'm like, oh, what the f But they're sending a message, tell Vic I, I love him, man, send my love. So I'm like, this okay, he's somebody. And then I started catching, I'm like, oh, what the f Rosecrans Vic, okay, Brownback Podcast. So he's just real tapped in with the LA rap scene. He just is what it is, what works and what doesn't. So I'm yeah. just like, he's my guy and I'm glad he is. Yeah, no, nah, but like, uh, back to like the show, it's like you gotta kind of keep yourself, uh, you know, one safe. That that's the the one priority. You you only gotta take so many risks, and you gotta minimize them for times that you're at a legit venue. They got a police presence. They got you know security, lots of security on staff. You got your own security. You know what I'm saying? That's one. But two, also, it's like you wanna keep yourself as exclusive as possible. You know, to sell these tickets, these hard ticket sales that. You know, you can sell the El Rey, you can sell out the El Rey, and the next time they give you a bigger offer for the Nova, you get big bags, three bands, right. they're gonna give you 30. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? For one night. That fool's cool, dog. You know who Good Charlotte is? No, I see. Ooh, you don't know who Good Charlotte good, is? Good Charlotte is like the OG biggest rock band ever. Good Charlotte, Cameron Diaz, Joel Madden, it was Benji like, like Madden. Blink 182. Dude, these guys were good. Charlotte. Charlotte. Dude, Dude, these guys were good. These guys were good. These guys were good. Dude, these guys, no, 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 maybe, but they're just a big rock band. They're just awesome. a big rock world, right? More into music, like more. bro. Why, dog? I was seeing all his plays like. Yeah. This guy basically like, I like to keep in tune with the. He's like an A-list celebrity. Yeah, he's an A-list celebrity. Yeah, I think for he sure. dated uh, Cameron Diaz. Yeah, but before brother? that, he used to date uh, Nicole Richie. Nicole Richie, oh, he, yeah. was, he was married. With, he was, he was married. No, guess what we're doing, fool? What?
Jay Z Linkin Park, Jay Z versus Linkin Park. Can I get an encore to it? Yeah, you no, want I'm more? And then uh, uh, the gaming, Travis Barker, the dope boys yeah. in the building. The, the dope boys. Something like They're that. gonna do Lefty Gunplay versus Good Charlie That's crazy. on the game. We're already working on it. That's fine. So, She's got my name on her face, on her neck. Look at her neck. What is it right there? Lefty. What is it right here? Frankie. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, but she just I put her look through a lot, man. I really did. She was she been there. She holds me down when I go to jail. When I go to jail, if I go to jail right now, the first person I'm gonna call is her. And she's gonna be like, F you man. But you know it's love, she said that cause she loved when you had your daughter, did that like make you start moving different when it comes to the street? I just know that I really gotta go get it, man, so she can have a better life, you know. I'm not there right now, I just doing my own thing, like I mean, she, she, she can say what she want. Yeah, I'll, I'll be f***ing up, but it's like, yeah, I think about her all the time, and I think about her, too. Like, if I don't get it, who's going to get it? Like, I want my daughter to have. My mom told me, too, like, you didn't have it growing up when you were poor. Your daughter don't get nothing. Your daughter's going to be dirt poor. Like, you got to go get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's taking care of that baby all by herself. That was my daughter. I'm lefty. I can't get right. You can't imagine how, like, she is. Like, she just... She's just very hyper and uh, lady shout lady. out to all the baby mamas that they really sit there and it's a hard job, man. Right? It really is. It really is a hard job. I think that's the hardest job to be a mom. It really is, and uh, I appreciate everything you do. I really do. I appreciate she's gonna be all mad, but I appreciate everything she does. And uh, yeah, my daughter just makes me wanna go get it. You gotta just sit back then, like yeah, I wanna give my daughter a better life. Like I wanna put her in the house. Like I just got an apartment, two bedroom apartment. Like I wanna move her in because. I want my daughter to have a house, like, you know, just hard. Like, her to run around, just, I did that for her, but it's like, is she gonna let me write music? Like, it's like, one thing when I'm making music is like, the girl, like, when I'm with her, like, I tell her, you hearing it? Right now, like, she's, it gets me so irritated when you're writing a song, you tell the person, anybody, hey, did you hear that? And they're like, they're not listening, like, what the f <laughs> Like, you know, did you, then you got those one people that really are hearing right, the day. music, like, like, you really hearing it like you and the people like it's nothing and it's like okay it's nothing i used to get arguments with her when i got out like all right fool like watch fool you don't care about my music watch me i'm gonna be a millionaire i'm gonna do it and i really did i really did it i know she kind of believed in me but i don't think she believed in me the whole way like i really really went up i really went up i think did you think it was gonna happen the way it did she seen me just in the room the other day like we we're just in the room like broke his like she manifested it with you I hope she did. This mm -hmm. city definitely known, like, from the outside looking in, like, they hate the people who getting popular, and it's like everybody want to do something to you. I just hate on the, the the fact that, like, brown people hate on brown people. Like, that's the homie you from your skin. This is if you hard, like, go and support that man, though. It's so quick to be a hater. Like, so there's enough money on the table for all the homies to eat. Shout out J.I. Bands, man. J.I. Bands told me that, like, there's enough money for everybody to eat, like, like, I'm, never, I'm never a hater, like, Roddy Rex, we didn't like each other, and like, you know, I embraced him, he embraced me, like, it's like, that's what people want, people wanted to be like that, if there's no beef like that, then why be like that, you know what I'm saying, as far as the enemy, f I'll never do someone anybody, I'm not gonna pop it on, not even my enemies pop it with me on the ground, they don't even pop it with me on the ground, it's like just the trolls, you know, and blacks don't even have that many trolls, but the Mexican community, yeah, there's a lot of haters, Come here. Like at one point in time, you had to like just move out of LA or move to another state. I love LA. I had to move out to SGV. I never move out to Cali. But I said the same thing about Bond Park. Like, oh, I'm never gonna leave the hood. I'm gonna go to West Covina. Once I move to LA, I never want to go back to Bond Park. LA just you like can a, always stop by. No, I don't even want to stop by. It just made me not even want to go back there again. See better. It's just better. Just bad times. It's just like what the. F this was what I was used to. In it was cool to me that I got better, like, I, I told my mom, I was like, come and sleep here, like, I want to go home, for like, I hate it right here, like, it's just like, no, it's true, though, like, once you get a better taste of life, it's like, and eventually, yeah, we're going to move my head file, but, like, I'll never go back to the hood. I'll post up in the hood, like, you know what I'm saying, really crazy, but, you know, I'm, a, I'm in LA now, in, 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 in my own way of how I got billboards, I got billboards. I just tell everybody, watch, I'm gonna be on that billboard. I got two billboards in LA. Sheesh. I really do. Like, it's cool, man. It's just, it happens so quick, but like. Some of the, um, the people you would say, like, keep you going 
and why you won't like because it's so easy to, to crash out around these ways what's stopping you from crashing out and stand on the right path my mom yeah i got a lemonade my mom my homeboys from my hood k Chay. come here give it to me Thank you. Give it to me. And my homies from my hood, my daughter. Um, just my mom and just like um the other day, like say the other day, I'm not gonna say too much, but the other day, uh I went to jail real quick for uh you know earlier this last year I went to jail, I got out of prison and I went right back to jail. She knows. And uh I was rapping and uh I f started sitting there for a pending investigation for some for some f and uh and then right there when I sat in that holding cell I was like Fool, like the, the biggest thing to me would be like to go back to jail for a little stretch for five six years the rapping's done your age and all that matters like when you're high you high and this is like just letting myself down and not one of the things that keeps me going the most is letting myself down right like everybody else like with everybody letting myself down is first is myself like just myself down first and it's just my mom and everybody's counting on me and then the fans and the hood, like, but just myself first, like, it's all I ever wanted, you know. I, I'm, 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 I'm happy with it, but it just started. But like, just going to jail and just knowing that, for like, I wouldn't have been able to find out what happened with the rap. Like, that's my dream. Follow your dream, chase your dream. I don't know what yours is. I don't know what yours is. I don't know what hers is. Follow your dream, go after him. My dream was rap, and I went after it, and I really did it. I really did it out here in LA. I really, I really got my own keys to my house. I really got a G wagon. I really, you know, signing for Millie. I really made sure I'm really on Power 106 and 92.3. Really tapping in with all these rappers. Really an essay. With tattoos on my face. Just doing so it So when up. did that kick in? Because I know after a certain while, it, it's, it dawned on you that you was this famous, this popular, you coming up fast. What was your moment where you realized, like, oh, damn, I got to start moving different? When I started getting all these pictures, when the money started coming in and I started getting all these pictures and the fame, just the fame, just seeing how I was, how the streets with me. That's when it's like, okay, I'm really, really famous. Just, dude, can I get a picture? I'm all the way lefty. You pick me up today, huh? Two pictures, huh? Yeah. Two pictures, and she gets out the car, like, just like everywhere I go, picture, picture, picture. And I and I go run over there to go take the picture with them, like, I take picture. But just when I see, like, when I see the, uh, that I have, sort of see myself worth, like, just, okay, I'm really, really famous. Like, you now I'm starting the way when they don't want me to do the thing for yeah. show. When I walk into a crowd, like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy out here in LA for me. Ah. It is. It really is. Everybody knows me. I like. Yeah. It. I like. It. I like it. I, sometimes I stand out there just to see how many people. Know. The cop got us the other day. Yeah. We're in the car. Bad stuff in the car in the back seat. The homie's driving without the lights on. Cop pulls up. Hits me with the light. And he's like, "Dude, what's up?" He's trying to lie to me. I'm like, "Hey, man, what's going on?" He's like, "You left the gunplay." I'm like, "Yeah." I know who you are. Hey, kid, turn your lights on, man. Hey, let y'all go. You gonna ruin your career, okay, yeah. That's, that's but see, it's just like it's like everybody to me, and they want to see me win. People want to see me win because my story is just righteous and authentic, and it's just like I've been through some. And uh, it, it's motivating. Yeah, this is a cool podcast. Like this, this, this Chicago, Detroit. Like you guys are tapping in, but I just can't wait for you guys to be like, okay, cool. He did this. Want to tap in? Like it's just like. You know what I'm saying? What is what, what what are we in the way from it now? Like it's like what am I doing with myself? Do I love it? Do I want this shit? like you gotta really sit there and ask yourself. They ask me all the time, like, do you want this? And sometimes I feel like I don't deserve it. Like, you know what I'm saying? This is what I wanted and I manifested in my mind. God put it in my mind for a reason. God put what he put in your mind for a reason in my mind. I'm not gonna tell you what he put in my mind, because you're not gonna believe it. My mom's like okay, cool, cool. Everybody wanna be a rapper. Show me actions, you know what I'm saying? But I did it. Manifestation with action. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put you gotta action put in, work in it. Too. Yeah, you gotta put the work in too, but just like, it's like, in the beginning, I feel like I didn't deserve it, but now I'm starting to figure out my self worth and who I really am and, and getting in tune with it and starting to adapt to it. And it's like beast mode time. It's like, I wanna be stuff on it, and I, I, I really am, man. And, and you guys are more than welcome. Whenever you guys wanna get another interview, I got you guys. And you know what I'm saying? You guys wanna invite me out there, tap in. Yeah, we I'm plugged in. Too, you guys right? get another oh, artist that you wanna hook me up with, talk with Solis. No, we'll get it cracking. We'll get it, we'll get it, we'll get it cracking. Like, I really want to go to... Nah, they probably kill me in Detroit. Mm -hmm. T. Grizzly. Uh -huh. T. Grizzly, the, he's a hit out there. T. Grizzly, that joint out there, huh? T. Grizzly from Detroit? Yeah. He's a joint out there. Yeah. That first he did? That first yeah, that, Man, that <laughs> is hard. What? I ain't never told on nobody. I ain't never fucked. Froze with that pistol dog. How many kids say that? Man. That was awesome. I'm a reach I go out there all the time. 
When I was younger, I wanted to get on. It's how I go to Melbourne Beach, Cocoa Beach, uh, Daytona Beach. Uh, I've been to Orlando. I've been to uh, Miami. I go all, all the. I've been out there all the time. Florida is a different vibe. I like Florida. Florida's cool, man. I don't gotta worry about gangs in Florida unless I go to Miami. Like, but yeah, the black vibe right there is just they, they embrace you too. Like, they 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 teach you. Something. Like, real deep boy, and I be getting high, chilling with the homie Detroit and the shine. They call me Let the Gun Play, famous gangbang. Strangers, then I leave her in the friend zone. The homie want me to get past in the benzo. They call me lefty gunplay like Lorenzo. I put a shanties in Lorenzo on my benzo. They call me lefty gunplay, I'm a fool. So he was ever since I was high school. And I don't really give this drool. Every time I pull up with them jewels, it's kept the gunplay. Valentina Jewels. That's that point star on the gang, I want to do it too. Call me lefty gunplay, I'm amazing. Pull up in the spaceship on my gang shit. Gang shit, that's the homie from the hood. They call me fucking let the gunplay and I'm good. Tell Interscope I'm fucking good. Yeah, see this up. That's what they taught me. It's called a uh 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 close it. You could stand. All it's about called it. a All about Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm going to the mall. Oh yeah. Love you, darling. Come on, look at my hood.